guys welcome back to my channel um just here to do another part of the using up stash um series that i've been doing uh for those people who haven't seen the series so far we've been using this sewing bird paper pad it's the most gorgeous papers from this range um from matilda so we've been using lots and lots of these gorgeous pages this particular pad, it also comes with this gorgeous page of the die cut pieces. Um, so there were three pages of this, which obviously I've only got one page now left. So um, that's the paper pad that we have been using. I have said this a couple of times, but apparently it is nowhere to be found now. So um, lots of people have kind of looked for it because they obviously think it's really a nice kit. Or, an, uh, sorry, not a nice kit, a nice pad. Um, and nowhere can anyone find it. So if you do happen to stumble across one, you know, eBay or Carbetel or wherever else, then probably grab it if you like it, because um, they definitely seem to be in short supply. So yeah, that's what we've been using. We've been creating this journal, which obviously we're putting together and um, it's going to be a giveaway. So we're now at the stage where we're um, finally gluing bits and bobs into the journal and kind of finishing it off really and obviously making some um, little kind of pull out tags and whatnot to kind of have in there. So we'll just crack on now um, today. So let's get started. So I'm kind of having trouble every time that I come onto this um, video kind of deliberating and deciding where to stick things um it's definitely causing me lots of kind of um yeah oh shall I put this there shall I put it there kind of thoughts so let's kind of go through and just have a look again so wondering about this piece here this piece here we've got this lovely flip up card here and this little cluster down here because I don't want to actually glue things in unless I'm certain where I would like them to go. We could have that cluster there. <clears throat> this is obviously already complete. This one is complete. This one and the middle. This one is complete. This one's complete. And then we've got obviously this one, which we're going to have this corner piece here. And I've got a tag there to hopefully kind of paper clip onto the side. This one is complete. This one is complete, and then we've got this one, and we've got a little cluster here, which I think we we're going to have somehow with the pink lace, and then we've got these two. So I think probably we'll just go with it like that because, um, you know, I'm aware that obviously I'm probably really boring people, you know, half to death now. So let's get cracking with gluing some bits and bobs down. So perhaps we'll start with this kind of back edge, well, you know, the second to last pages. And we've got this gorgeous pink trim, or pink lace, and this lovely cluster. So I'm kind of thinking there somehow, and this piece obviously on the opposite page. So I'm going to just pull in a book to just, you know, hold the page flat so we can get gluing because I don't want obviously things moving. So what I will do is kind of turn it round and glue the lace on first. So I'm just going to move that out of the way a bit and we're going to just glue the lace down the side. So I'm using my hot glue for this. I've got it plugged in ready. So we'll just put a strip of hot glue down there and then just place it where we want it like that. I'll just make sure it's glued nicely and then what we can do, turn the page round, and then we can decide whether we want this kind of under or over. I think it would definitely have to be over because when it went under, it obviously covered up quite a bit of the, um, you know, the sewing machine and things. So we'll kind of have it like, <clears throat> like that, I think. Now, do we want it at the bottom or the middle? I think, I mean, the bottom is nice, but I'm thinking kind of is the middle kind of nice for a different, a different look. So while I decide, I might glue this piece onto this page. Now this piece is a kind of folding, kind of flip up. So we'll just pop this down here, hopefully in frame. 
and again I will just kind of pop it on with some hot glue just for kind of speed really now I didn't use the hot glue for the last fold up um, flip kind of piece that we did which actually turns out it's on the page before um, but the reason I didn't was because this was a much bigger piece and so it was kind of more essential that it went in a particular place because obviously had it been too high uh, or too low sorry it would have hung off of the book so this one I could afford to be a little bit more um, what's the word you know kind of not so fussy about where it actually went because obviously it had more room for kind of um not error but more room for it being kind of in a more free situation so what i'm going to do is now just kind of wet glue the remaining lace trim like that <clears throat> okay and then here you see it does make a difference because obviously once that's now stuck on the facing page I don't like this in the middle whereas kind of before I was leaning towards the middle but now my eyes are drawn to the middle so I now prefer it kind of down in the corner so you know for me that's why I find it easier to glue things down um, in order I suppose would be kind of what I'm trying to say so now I'm just going to kind of wet glue this down because obviously I'm just kind of securing this lace because it's quite wide so it's already in place with the hot glue so I'm just going to kind of secure that flapping bit with the wet glue <clears throat> and then oops my hot glue is getting threads everywhere now all over everything so uh, I'm just getting a couple of bits off of my hands into the bin right um so what I think I'll do is probably just hot glue this and I probably want to just hot glue it kind of here in this section. So I'll just make sure that this is in frame. And we're just going to literally hot glue it down like that. Beautiful, I think anyway. So hopefully you guys think it's very pretty. So I like that. <clears throat> and then what we're going to do is we will just turn over and I think we'll get cracking with these two pages. So with these ones, now I am kneeling up again, I know I always do say this but I'm just checking now whether I am in frame or not. Right, so we could have this kind of like that, obviously this piece down here, um, or we could have it this way round. Now I quite like it you know either or really I might just see whether we could have any other little bits and pieces kind of on the page to just um, kind of break it up because obviously it's the same pattern which I was aware of that and I quite liked that look but I feel it kind of maybe needs something else there as well so I'll just try kind of a couple of bows I've got this Tim Holtz rosette that's kind of cute I could have that Kind of just there. I have unfortunately got a bit of glue here on the um, bottom of the page, which I don't know whether that would wipe off with some, uh, you know, some baby wipe or something. Um, this obviously has got this red heart, but we might be able to kind of cover that up with a little flower or something. And that looks quite sweet, doesn't it? <clears throat> having a look and then if we were to have this one here and we could probably have just try out kind of the different lace trims and things that we've got so just try it with this little fabric ruffle down the side Oops. I quite like that I keep having that on that side Mm, that's kind of quite nice um, and then we could maybe have a couple of blue flowers on this side to kind of tie it in maybe a bit more I'm just going to try it with some lace um, and just see what we think to 
some lace trim instead. Obviously, again, we've got the lilac, which would obviously kind of match the facing page. Or we could have some kind of blue, which obviously the facing page is very blue dominated. Um, let's have a look. The problem is with the blue, it kind of loses its shade when it's on top of the green. So, um, you know, it might not be quite so good. Could have maybe this kind of blue, maybe even round it to kind of curve, and then the rosette down there, and the flower. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Now, I'm actually filming these um, videos kind of ahead of time if you see what I mean, because um, I'm trying to have a few in the bag to upload whilst I'm busy kind of in the summer. So, um, you know, if I talk about anything, it may not be necessarily that relevant now. So, um, and the reason I say that, I was just going to say that we went to the cinema this week. Um, I think I talked about the cinema a couple of weeks ago and said how we really like kind of going as a family and, um, we try and go on this Wednesday offer thing with Meerkat Movies and this week we went to see Incredibles 2 and um, you know I quite liked Incredibles 1 but I wasn't overly overly fussed about seeing Incredibles 2 but having said that it was very very good it has a lot of humour um, you know kind of parent kind of humour parent jokes and um, yeah, it was very funny, very, very funny. So it was good film. You know, the kids obviously enjoyed it from a child kind of point of view and we really enjoyed it as, you know, from an adult point of view. So um, it was very, very fun. I would recommend it. So uh, yeah, that's what we've been up to this week. Now, I don't know why I can't seem to, you know, quite feel, oh, that's it, you know, when I've kind of put something down. I'm just literally mucking about and mucking about. But um, what I might do is actually, I just grabbed the blue and thought, oh, I'm gonna stick something down. But now again, I've backtracked and don't quite dare do it. I'm not quite ready. I think I really like this pink kind of flower somewhere and actually I just remembered that I had also bought my pink junk journal flower so I might prefer it kind of like that maybe kind of poking out there <clears throat> so I think what I'll do actually I'm just going to move this slightly out of the way so it doesn't keep slipping down onto the page I'm working on I'm going to pop the doily down first because then that's we committed to something and um, it won't keep moving around then. So we'll just pop that down there like that. Yes, I'm filming these ahead of time with the intention of kind of uploading them on my usual kind of schedule, which has tended to be on the whole on a Monday. Uh, I don't know whether that will definitely happen, but that's the plan. Um, <clears throat> and then if I have run out of these and I don't have more of these, I will try and upload something else at a similar kind of time slot. Um, you know, we'll just kind of have to see how we get on. I'm just going to cut out this little sewing machine from the pieces that I made as printables just as additional pieces so that I kind of just stretched my kit a little bit further. Pop that up like that. Now this is very strange because um, doing this in the afternoon which generally when I have filmed these I do them in the morning normally and uh, 
it's weird isn't it how you're kind of different at different times of day so for me this feels very bizarre doing this in the afternoon instead of in the morning and um, definitely kind of in the afternoon I'm a little bit more <sighs> drowsy that wouldn't really be quite the right word but definitely less upbeat I think kind of I'm more of a morning person and um, it's also very hot here in my son's room so um, that's not really probably helping things very much right so I quite like this pink sewing machine somewhere so I'm just going to kind of play around now quickly with the two pages because obviously I've got a few different pink things which we could kind of um, you know see about having somewhere whoops, somewhere around you know so it's the two pages kind of really nicely match all my things are just sliding and um, falling over I'm afraid so I do apologize <clears throat> I love this flower here but um, it's kind of covered up by the zip which is a bit annoying so I'll just try the sewing machine because obviously the sewing machine is just a flat edge so it wouldn't be quite so crucial for it to be on show so I quite like that um, I did love the flower but I didn't want the flower kind of lost underneath that zip and I do like the zip there so I'm just going to literally glue the sewing machine on this is annoying because I have no tissue here with me today I don't think nope. so I'm gonna have to kind of just go for this kind of gluing it down because I've just snuck in, snuck in a video at a time I would not normally do one. So, um, I'm not quite got everything with me that I would normally have. Okay, so that's kind of nice. And then I just want to kind of cover this piece of glue up really where I've um, been a bit clumsy with the glue. So I think this is two flowers here. So I just peel those apart. Okay, so I should glue the zip down. That. And then if we just have a couple of flowers. Kind of randomly kind of placed like that I think <clears throat> I have a feeling this might be two as well but obviously this flower is much more fiddly to kind of pick apart so I'll just go for it anyway even if it is two like that okay and the pink one Whoa -ho -ho. okay so I like that <clears throat> and then um obviously we haven't stuck this down yet so I'm going to stick this down on these edges here so I uh, just wonder whether I might just hot glue this one down oh, I'll, I'll wet glue this as well so um, uh, actually I've just thought actually I'm going to do it the other way so I'm going to glue it like that so it's a pocket from above because um, there's actually quite a bit going on below. I don't necessarily want anything coming out from beneath it, whereas above is quite plain. So I just pop that on there. Okay, so I'm just going to leave um, this book weighing these things down. And we will just now get gluing this pocket on. So just have a look. And I wonder about this pink lace here. Kind of just there. Pop that on there. Just going to kind of have a look and see what that would be 
look like. And then we've got obviously a pink junk journal flower that we could have there. Quite like that. I mean, the only thing for me, it's got no lilac on here, but you know, I'm sure that doesn't really matter unless we do have the bit of blue. So I will just try that. And what I might do is this has been dyed with dilutions. I'm just going to tear that because obviously it was very wide. We'll just check whether the blue doesn't look kind of better because that brings in the blue from the opposite page and then we can always bring it in obviously with the pink flower too. So, um, yeah, I quite like it like that, I think. So what I'm going to do is actually cut that kind of um, to size because it really, I think, is kind of leaning towards being glued this way up. So I'll just pop that on there. And we will just then run some glue down the edge. Like that. And then... Oops, just pop the lace on. Like that. Okay. Pop this on here. Now I will just probably glue this with the hot glue just because this is quite a kind of um, bulky piece and I just want it to glue down kind of instantly really. So just do that with the hot glue. That's that's then stuck on there nicely and instantly. So that's why I've used that. Now I'm just going to see how we're doing for time. Okay, we're um we're really moving along today so uh, okay and then obviously we've got that junk journal flower which I rather like just there I'm just going to hot glue that on there and again I mean I've just used the hot glue because obviously then that's nicely stuck you know instantly rather than kind of having to weigh it down and wait for it uh, which, you know, when they're kind of a bulkier embellishment, I find obviously that, you know, that's best. Whoops. That little centre came out. So uh, let me just glue that centre back in. Oops. Getting glue everywhere for some reason. So uh, I'll just glue it with the wet glue, actually. Oh, come out. Definitely all fingers and thumbs here now. Oh, this isn't good. This is not good. <laughs> right, we've got that kind of in place and I'm just going to kind of try and press it by holding the back of the page up like that. Okay. Right, so now what I'm going to do, I'll just move this to one, well, I've pulled the pearl up not going well is it right okay so I'm just going to move the book to one side while we wait for that to dry and then we might just make one or two um, you know uh, tags or kind of embellishment pieces so last time I had done these um, these little kind of journaling -y card things um, and I also did these bigger ones that were on thickish paper. So this isn't cardstock, but it's not regular copy paper. I can't remember now what the weight of this is, but it's definitely, um, you know, quite heavy, thick quality paper. So what we do is we'll just literally have a couple of kind of paper piece embellishments. So we we'll just cut this one like that. And just run along here. Around here. Oops. Okay, well, it's not particularly straight, but 
it's fine it can look fine okay so we've got this and let me just move the rubbish to the bin or the bag that I've got beside me and then what we could do is um cut out again something from here one of my pieces that I've just kind of made so let's try some of these largish kind of flowers Actually, that's got a little stem there, but I'm going to cut that off so as you don't have so much of the white card showing, or the white, yeah, the white card showing. So I just prefer it like that. <clears throat> so we could have that somewhere, kind of over here, or something. Um, and again, I mean, we could just pop a little flower by it. Again, I'll just check that that's one. No. They're definitely you can kind of tell because they're just they feel a little bit on the thick side obviously when there's more than one there i just kind of pop that like that and then what i would do is obviously just fold this in half so like that and then obviously you've got this nice kind of vintage uh, invoice or receipt it's from 1963 and then you've got journaling space obviously on the back so we'll just kind of pop this like that I will just before I commit because you know I never like to actually commit to um, to gluing anything until I'm 100% sure so just before we commit I will just check that we don't want this hairpin piece instead you know, just in case we kind of prefer that, or even could have both, I suppose. Let's just open it out. No, I, weirdly enough, I'm not sure that these hairpin pieces, the reason I'm not convinced ever, I'm not sure that um, I feel that they're quite going with the theme that we've got going on here. So maybe that is why every time I've kind of held them on anything I've not been quite sure so let's just like that so this is just the thread you know the spool of thread that I kind of made and you know, we could just have that kind of there we could even have the flowers there as well so I quite like it like that so let's glue that on you know let's uh, let's make some decisions here so we'll glue that on like that okay and then we'll glue the flowers down here at the bottom something on the um, page, I don't know what that is. Right, let's pop that flower down. Okay, so that's looking kind of cute. So move this book out of the way, oops, and then um, we'll pop this piece in somewhere in the book. So I wonder whether it will fit here. Yep, lovely it does. So we might have that there, I think. So just going over the page, so we've done those few pages now. I'm just going to check the time because 
I did talk before about doing slightly shorter videos for a while, um, you know, because I know that, especially in the summer, I think people are very busy. And, you know, maybe sometimes my videos are getting a little bit on the long side. So um, I'm keen to kind of <clears throat> not drivel on for too long today. And we are at 30 minutes already. So um, we might kind of just leave it there, I think, for today. Um, again, I mean, I'd love to know what you, you know, what your opinion is, what your take is on the 30 minute videos as opposed to the one hour ones. Whether actually 30 minutes are better, whether you'd like them mixed up, you know, some 30, some an hour, um, you know, 40 minutes, uh, kind of just, yeah, I, I just wonder what people find kind of best really. So I think probably for today we're going to call that quits um, and then we'll come back and we'll do, you know, hopefully the rest or certainly another couple on another day. So um, I hope that you enjoyed the video and thanks very much for watching. See you next time. Thank you very much. Bye.